What's going on, YouTube? Another look inside the indoor grow room here. Everybody's looking awesome. As I look around, I thought of an awesome tip uh, for all you people out there that are going to use five gallon buckets for their peppers. Um, I was just thinking, like, I know a lot of pool guys, and they've got an overabundance of buckets because they're always using that chlorine. And uh, if you've got a pool, just throw it right in the pool, and that should, you know, take care of all the chlorine in the bucket, and then let it dry, and that should take care of, you know, any residue. But uh, if you're still paranoid, then uh, check out one of your restaurants. I remember um, I worked at a pretty big name restaurant when I was in my teens. And uh, I remember we used to get um, buckets of pickles. Like, we served a lot of pickles with sandwiches for lunch, and they came in five-gallon buckets. So, there's another quick tip. Maybe hit up one of your restaurants and ask them if they can, if you can have their spare buckets. Because I remember we would throw them away, like, you know, 15, 20 at a time. So, but anyway, inside the grow room, as you can see, everybody's looking good. There's a little fungus gnats or whatever flying around like normal got a newly trans uh, planted uh, white peach here yellow maruga looking awesome uh, my chocolate habanero over here looking like a little rocket ship pointing that way and um, you know little leaves are pointing backwards here kind of neat uh, ghost pepper here from Chad looking great another ghost um, my chocolate habanero right back there, looking good. Trinidad scorpion, Marglobe, um, Sugar Rush, looking very nice. Um, yeah, that's my chocolate. Another ghost, uh, another ghost over here, looking beautiful. And a white peach, all oh, looking great. Um, one thing I have noticed is when they first come up, as you can tell, like right here, it's all not level, but uh, as they first come up, they're pretty much uh, kind of yellowish like, kind of like this chocolate maruga right over here, kind of yellowish like, and then all of a sudden, a little bit later, they like the shishito here, they just bam, slap right into green. So that's been kind of cool. Um, my little bug trap here, as you can see, caught a whole pile of the adults anyway. Um, but yeah, that works pretty good. Um, it's just apple cider vinegar, but Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion, looking awesome. Getting a nice size trunk on there, getting close to when we need to top them. A uh, bunch of little guys, yellow brain strain, looking good. Red Fatale, uh, huh, I didn't mention the Red Fatale. Those two right there in that cup, those are both Red Fatale. This is the biggest one. And then I've got another one right over here with uh, two in it. And they're just starting to show true leaves. But couldn't uh, not plant them. Um, yellow Brain Strain, looking beautiful. I've got one of my few tomatoes left in here. I moved a lot of them. And the basil. Uh, this is a brandy wine. Looking pretty decent. Um, another little sugar rush. Looking awesome. As you can see, fungus gnats flying around. Stupid little things. Maybe I should uh, up the game and do another little uh, um, was that? apple cider vinegar uh, trap. But uh, yeah, my ahi pineapple can't wait to try this guy. All the ahis, I'm uh, super so uh, stoked, soaked, super soaked about them. Hmm. Anyway, another one of my only tomatoes. Look at that thing, looking freaking awesome. Beautiful little tomato. Probably need to move it more towards the front there. But we have Butch TX Dougla. Nice. Moving right along, got the cow horn that I topped, looking awesome, coming back with a vengeance, oh ha ha ha, but looking pretty nice. Uh, I'm a Wartex, all of these guys are looking 
awesome. And uh, I don't believe any of these have edema on them. Um, I do have a bunch of plants with edema right now, but uh, it only seems to be some of these super hots. Uh, Shishito here, looking half decent. Uh, indigo rose, got to have a couple of them. I pulled two indigo rose out of here. I believe I have two left in here. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one right over here. Looking awesome. But, uh, yeah, so not too many of them left. My Cajun Bell. So I topped the Cajun Bell, as you can see right down here. And uh, it shot up two new root, uh, roots, uh, two new uh, stalks here, and now they're all budding. So that's pretty cool. My Roma, one of my only other tomatoes left in here, looking absolutely beautiful. To be perfectly honest, well, the indigos look beautiful. But uh, a couple of the other, uh, what was it, one Roma, two Marglobe that I pulled out of here, they were not looking the best. I'll show them in an update here in a little bit, um, as well as the hydroponic uh, uh, tomatoes that I was growing because they all had a little something something happening. But uh, Pink Tiger, look at this thing. Look how beautiful it is. I mean... This really is one of my favorite peppers, only because it looks so beautiful. And right up here, we're getting pretty darn close to uh, flowering, or uh, budding, whatever you want to say. Who do we got here? Peach Ghost, looking awesome. Beautiful big old trunk on that guy. Uh, another one that I top, my cow horn. Coming back real good. Look at all that new growth top that thing where is it there it is I topped it right there and it just started going nuts um, Carolina Reaper look at this guy this is one that's suffering from edema uh, as you can see here on the back side if it would focus there we go Got that all up in there and back here on the older leaves not so bad but uh, this one's not so bad. I've never had a problem with this one. I've just been trying to ease back on watering. Uh, like everybody tells me to, well, everybody tells everybody to do. Um, this one, whoo, this one is my, um, it's the, yeah, Mammoth Jalapeno. And I topped it. So I shot that last time. Uh, yesterday it did not look like it was actually going to do anything. Um, but, yeah. Well, it's not going to show anything either, but uh, right there and all the nooks there, it's actually starting to get some uh, growth coming back. Yesterday, I came in, and it was like a day and a half that I wasn't around these guys, and there's a few of them that are very touchy, like this yellow Maruga right here. That one's very touchy. My yellow brain strain, my Brazilian brain strain, they're all like really, really touchy, and they require water exactly when they want water. And uh, the edema won't go away, even though... But anyway, uh, they drooped a lot. But uh, this guy... So I came in, I started feeding everybody, and I was like, okay, it's feeding time. So I fed everybody. I, somehow I forgot this guy, and a couple hours later I came in to do a video last night, which I deleted. And uh, this guy was not fed, even though he's got some nice roots there. But uh, yeah, he wasn't fed, and he was looking real... Or she, whatever... I uh, was looking really, really, really bad. The leaves were really droopy and uh, looked like withered and all that stuff. But it's coming back, and now we've got all this new growth. That was a long time on one plant. Cow horn, looking awesome. I topped this guy. It's starting to come back. Very beautiful. Uh, green bell. Yeah. And I remember where this one came from. This is my stock. Um, looking beautiful. I top this guy, so it's coming back very nice. Another Carolina Reaper. Look at the size of this guy. Looking awesome. I believe this is the one. Eh, half decent roots. Uh, who else do we got? Another Red Ghost. Looking beautiful. None of these are very close to budding yet. So I'm holding out, waiting. Chocolate Maruga, looking awesome. Yellow Maruga, this is one of my special ones right here. Um, as you can see, it's got some edema. It doesn't look so bad on the bottom there. But uh, you can see here some curling of the leaves and stuff. 
but uh, yeah, it's one of my special ones here, and uh, it barely has any uh, roots coming out here yet, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's one of my special little guys. Uh, Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion, looking awesome, and uh, just barely some roots. M.A. Wartix, look at this guy. All of the M.A. Wartix are just looking awesome. <laughs> Gigantic broad leaves, haven't had a problem with these guys. Pretty sure, nope, nope, underside of the leaves all look A-OK. -okay. Who we got back here? Red Ghost. Looking awesome. Ah, uh, Yellow Maruga. I've been having problems with some of the Yellow Maruga. Oh, wow. That one's got some pretty bad edema. But I haven't had problems with this one. This one's got the same thing right there. But uh, look how big and broad this thing is. Awesome. Sweet Apple. Looking absolutely beautiful. Waiting on it to go ahead and start forking. Pink Tiger. Look at this guy. Ah, got a little, like, crack in the leaf over here, which makes it uh, kind of droopy. But besides... Oh, and some uh, crap over here. But uh, besides that, looks pretty decent. But uh, not the dark color it once was. Chocolate Habanero. Looking awesome. Wait for it to go ahead and bud. Uh, Serrano. Looking awesome. After I topped it. Set it out here. My yellow brain strain. This is one of my... Uh, I don't want to call it troublesome plants. But I've been having problems with it. So it's one of my plants that... A lot of these have never had a break from Master Blend. They've only been watered from... Uh, with Master Blend, and they're doing great. Uh, but some of these, like this one, um, I've been doing, I don't know, like Master Blend, Master Blend, water. Master Blend, last yeah. So pretty much, uh, pretty much two on with Master Blend, uh, Master Blend, and, uh, <laughs> and then one with straight water. And usually I'll water it right here on the top and hold the cup out and just kind of like drain it right through. Make sure I uh, go ahead and get rid of any kind of, I don't know, excess of salts or anything like that. This little brandy wine, I have no clue what's going on with it. It's not looking that great. It's been this big for weeks now. My Ahi Fantasy. Ha <laughs> ha. One of my favorites out of the entire group here. Looking beautiful. And if we come up here, look at that. Got double forks. And we've got little buds popping right off. So my only hold up is I want to wait just a little bit longer and then go ahead and top it. But uh, I'm right on the verge. Every single day I'm thinking, why not? Look at all this growth down below. And it's going to be great when it comes back. Ugh. But anyway, it's my internal fight. <laughs> yeah, plant people. They're weird. Um, Peach Ghost, looking beautiful. Not quite ready to start uh, budding up here. My White Peach, look, this is another one. It's kind of like copying the Ahi Fantasy where it's kind of like canopying. Canopying? Is that a word? Nah. But, uh, yeah, looking beautiful. It's not ready yet. Brandy wine, one of the only peppers, or peppers, tomatoes that I have left in here. My other Ahi Fantasy, look at this guy. It's awesome. Little buds right up there. Starting to go. But I love how there's just this giant canopy here. It looks like a little tiny tree. Awesome. Uh, the white peach way back here doing the same thing. Looking awesome. Probably going to start uh, budding soon. Red ghost. Look at this thing. Looking awesome. Man. I'm going to need to find some restaurants that have some five-gallon buckets. Uh, lemon Drop. Looking awesome. If you look way up there, there's actually some buds popping right at the very top there. So I'm going to give them a little bit extra time. And then it's going to be topped. There's my troublesome Brazilian brain strain. Actually, let's keep it in here. You can see, check out the leaves here. 
I don't know why, but the screen is not picking it up very good, so maybe the camera is, but got some, uh, I don't know, rust, a little bit of uh, curl right here, got uh, maybe some, uh, a, well, it's definitely got edema, but like right in here looks like maybe like the cells burst, same with right over in here, but uh, yeah, the rest of the leaves are looking pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, they got some edema. But, like I said, that's one of my uh, trouble plants right there. And who do we have left back here? Another lemon drop. Looking beautiful. As the fan is rattling. We still have a whole bunch of seed starts here. As you can see, maybe right up in here. There's one sticking up there. Uh, I left it in there. Um, whenever I transplanted the red fatalities, but uh, got my chocolate habanero, looking awesome. My caramel maruga, look at that guy, beautiful. St. Thomas Bane pepper, I didn't kill off every one that I uh, got from JT yet. Um, Dragon Cayenne, looking awesome. This is my favorite out of the entire bunch. Caramel Maruga. Look at this thing. It's so gigantic inside the cup. I mean, granted, it's only like half full, but look at that. It's gigantic. It's wider than the cup already. My M.A. Wartix, looking awesome. Getting close to being, uh able to be topped on my serrano kind of curly on the leaves there but uh it's actually starting to bud it's already double forking so it could be topped my indigo rose like i talked about already and lastly my habanero look at this guy huge and i believe oh yeah look at that all kind of new growth right down there getting ready for me to top it <laughs> good thinking buddy but uh, yeah nothing up here yet so still have a little bit of time to go the top as you can see the top of the uh, grow tent in the back fell down and uh, well there was only one casualty I believe it was uh, the big um, uh, oregano, oregano basil plant uh, the basil that I had so I'll show that in a different video but yeah here we go all my little babies all strewn about here looking awesome all right and uh yeah in case you were wondering at the very beginning uh everybody's been you know tucked in pretty close and uh you know nice it's uh i don't know i'm doing it like uh tetris so you put one of these big ones here that are tall and lanky looking and you put it next to like one that's really short and has a bunch of leaves and that way uh, it all kind of works out. So, I don't know. It's all fitting. But uh, like I said, I did pull five tomatoes and three basil. And then I added uh, another three peppers. So, huh, not too bad. And everybody's still growing. So, And the plan is I'm going to go ahead and try to go uh, grow them until they're big enough where I can actually go ahead and top them. That way I can top them and then uh, have them grow back. And then by the time they're ready to start budding again, hopefully that's the time I will take them outside. So that is the entire plan. And that will include my next uh, endeavor and uh, my, quote, secret project, if you want to call it that. It's not that secret, but it's a project. But uh, And you don't know about it, so I guess that would make it secret. So, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, that way you can find out what that is when that time comes around. Anyway, it's been a look around here at my indoor grow tent, which, by the way, if you're thinking, oh, I wish I had an indoor grow tent, it's literally cardboard box, and uh, I put tin foil around it, and it's PVC pipe that is uh, holding the whole thing up. So, yeah, you can afford it, definitely. I made it for, like, I don't know, 10 bucks. So, anyway, that was a long walk around here, and uh, I guess in the next video, I will go ahead and document what some of these leaves, I'm looking at a pink tiger, it doesn't do that, but uh, some of the leaves, when they get really, really droopy, I'm going to make sure to grab some video of that, because it is really crazy in uh, how quick the plant comes back around, but I can't shake the dang edema. Anyway... <clears throat> 
that's been a long video. So, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up if you think I should get a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, subscribe so you can check out what else I'm doing and the aquaponics and stuff. That'll be coming out tomorrow and Thursday. And I've already got a video planned for Wednesday. So, and we got a full week coming. So, don't forget to subscribe. And, like I said, if you thought this was pretty cool, give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you in the next video. Till then. Later. Just in case you were wondering how it goes back together after videoing, this is it. I'll put in according to height. And probably need to go ahead and jack up the lights a little. But the upstairs is nice and spread out. I put a bunch of the uh, bigger ones up here. So, all right. <laughs> Made it this far. What the heck, man? <laughs> Just kidding. But thanks for watching. There you go. Later.